Ladies and gentlemen, now I have a very um, good dancer, a performer, an anchor, a doctor, and you can just keep going on to her credits. And it's none other than Vandita Mohangaru with me. So we'll have a conversation with her. Uh, we'll try to find out her journey and uh, and how uh, her experience in today's uh, star kalakar as judge. So let me welcome uh, Vandita Garu. It's uh, so nice uh, to have you here and. Uh, uh, so I hope you had a great time today in <laughs> judging the participants in Star Kalakar. Definitely. It, it, was, it was amazing because uh, to me being a judge is about learning a lot. Because the amount of potential that the kids today had in Star Kalakar was just amazing. And I also understand that it is just not confined to a location and it's, it's nationwide this time. So typically when somebody is coming, then they, the kid must, must itself, you know, sh they should have the courage to be a part of the show because they know it's going to be wide enough. Yeah. It's going to be nationwide. So I think I first um, uh, appreciate that courage and the confidence that they have. And I just love judging today. It was real fun. I was with the, another esteemed judge, uh, Sudaka, who had a PhD and uh, who's been in this industry for so long so I'm, I'm privileged to do that with her so I uh, the potential that the kids had were amazing and I would say that uh, such competitions really encourage them to go forward and present themselves yeah exactly so we'll start off uh, with your journey uh, sure. with dance uh, mm -hmm. in particular so um, so I've uh, learned that you practice dance for more than 18 years now and yes. primarily in Bharatanatyam and Kathak mm -hmm. uh, so what made you uh, interested in dance and how did you pursue it throughout this career Sure. So when I was very young, so say like um, second grade or something like that, I uh, my parents did not like dance. So they said, you know what, go learn violin. <laughs> so I was like, OK, you know, you know how India is, right? So you have like certain things, uh, but now it's gone too much. They give you freedom for everything. So now it's changed. It's the India is always, you know, they offer <laughs> you a lot of opportunities. But anyhow, uh, so second grade, I went for a violin class. I was trying to play violin. Mm -hmm, whatever I do, it doesn't come. And behind me was a dance cool uh, so whenever I used to play violin I used to look back and keep playing so my teacher was like are you really interested and I wanted to say no but then it just kept going for one one year or so and my teacher said I don't think you're a good fit and I'm like I know that I'm not a good fit <laughs> and then uh, my mom and dad uh, I told them this I wanted to dance and they were like okay let's try dancing for you and uh, I was also kicked out of dancing troupe in first grade, just to mention. So if somebody fails, it's not a failure. Just saying, now I'm a dancer. So you never know what happens when. So that's how my journey started. I wanted to be a dancer or I wanted to get into dance. My parents initially didn't like it, but now they're so proud. They say that my daughter is also a dancer. So <laughs> I think I can easily relate that. So that's how I started learning dance at the age of uh, when it was third year, uh, th third grade, when I was in my third grade. And then it went on and on. It's It's been a great experience. I did my arrangement. I learned from Chitra Vishweshwaran initially. Then I moved to uh, Shivakumar Shailaja for my adv advanced training. I was born and brought up in Tamil Nadu, Chennai. So my pretty much whole, uh, most of my training was in there. So 2009, I did my Arangetram, after which I, I won multiple awards. Some of them to mention are Tamil Nadu Government uh, ELSA Naragamandram Award. And then I also backed the Thakadimita, which is an exclusive competition only for classical dancers worldwide. I won the winner. I mean, uh, I was the winner in that episode as well. And apart from that, I got Doordashan's B grade, which is very prestigious. Mm -hmm. So these are some of the awards that I have won thus far. And I'm also a dentist. So carrying the passion along with your profession was something that was initially difficult. And I was actually... Uh, you know advised a lot of times not to do this because you cannot concentrate in one of them but uh, i think my parents support my parents are a huge support my grandmother my brother i think they were all amazing so i think they had supported me ever since and that's why i'm here with this 
you know long range of journey <laughs> <laughs> yeah we have uh, often heard about uh, mm-hmm. actors uh, turning doctors and vice versa but this is first time like you know i'm hearing <laughs> doctors and yeah. dancer in definitely one. because dance has brought me also to media exposure so because of my dance uh, they i was working for sun Mew, uh, sun tv pudi pudiya talaimurai they were all like uh, some premier network channels in uh, india in chennai and i was working for them so uh, you're so looking so beautiful because i understand how the host <laughs> part of it how it is so i was also a celebrity host so i have mm. been um, so i got a chance to meet amy jackson prabhu deva siddharth I, i've met everyone in the industry almost everyone in the industry and and we have pretty much good rapport with them so that's how it started so where did dance lead me to a very nice platform so any art doesn't go waste right so that so i built that and then i performed a lot on channels and i hosted a lot of dance shows so that is my journey <laughs> i think when i <clears throat> when i go back it's a little nostalgic and it's so beautiful to remember yeah and uh, i think like uh, i've heard you mentioning that uh, um you train uh, you know specially challenged uh, enabled kids uh, in, in with the form of dance, dance yeah. and like you know i think like your background with the healthcare uh, with the expertise in dance is like a very interesting combination and that too like when you're using all of that to help uh, uh, especially challenged uh, kids to you know mm-hmm. get out of their uh, right. experience or like you know so that actually speaks a volume of how you can use the art and profession to do something good to someone else's life definitely you're totally right i have got an opportunity to assist my guru shivakumar uh in training few special children uh, who have who, who were basically you know maybe they were like uh, they had some your problems or something but they basically they're very special to us so how does dance improve their coordination how does it improve their overall therapy is what we were involved in and it was so substantial that one of the kid actually did an arangetram which is wow. which is which is big right <laughs> so she did that so we were very happy and a lot of times i do wear a lot of makeup unfortunately nearly on the tv <laughs> so when i end up in the clinic with the glasses I'm like uh, i doctor i think i've seen you somewhere i'm like uh, yeah guess <laughs> and they come up with the show i'm like and then he uh, you know my patient he tells me that uh, you're also a dancer you also compare and you're a doctor i think the makeup you know you should you should do all this in a makeup i'm like i'm not treating you with makeup so these are some funny episodes that i've been through being all of this so i i because of dance i'm here is what i want to say right right yep um and uh, like you know as we are talking about dance uh, there are a lot of platforms uh, now f- uh, you know especially in cities like dallas which is very vibrant and it's kind of like a conglomeration of different cultures like you know you have western indian celebrations all right. over so we get a lot of uh, chances for performance um, but like how important is competitions like that da- uh, star kalakar going to help them definitely so uh, with respect to competition basically competition will build the child's competitive spirit towards anything it will enable the child to take what failure is what success is we cannot expect that you know okay my child is participating in competition b and she is definitely going to win no because there are other exemplary dancers than you so understanding this concept is very important for which first competitions like this are very very important and also especially uh, what i've seen in star kalakar is that it gives you a wide range of options your classical dancer dance classical your non classical dancer not dance non classical so you have those lovely options so i would tell all the viewers for them to make use of this best opportunity because a stage is something that every dancer is uh, looking for right and when you're given that opportunity grab it for example i am a doctor plus i also right now work for it so i want to marry these both professions and i want to help the people in these professions using dance there are a lot of stress related diseases that we are seeing these days trust me everybody practices any of the art forms that we see that was in star kalakar we had instrumental we had uh, music we had dance if you practice any of the art forms it it definitely rejuvenates you, yourself it gives you a lot of productivity so that's where i am you know i want to make sure that we we use dance or any other art form to lessen all the burdens that we see so on that note when star kalakar is giving such platform to show your talent it's the best for all of them out there to utilize it you're 19 and up you're 16 and up 
doesn't matter just come <laughs> form is my thought one question that i had i was watching this competition uh, sitting here in this part of audience so um so i saw like different varieties of dance forms being uh, performed and uh, how do you gauge a uh, classical performance to a non classical performance uh, because those two are completely different dance forms that is totally right so when a kid is performing a classical so uh, another thing that i've seen in star kalakar is that they categorize it beautifully so you you don't have to be confused so we were very clear that for classical we have set of dances for non classical we have set of dances but however there are rules and regulations within that category so for example if it's a non classical we are not expecting it to be angashuddham or i mean angashuddham is something where you use your hands legibly you raise your elbows mm-hmm. you look nice you you look presentable it is very important for all the dances but with respect to the techniques and the details no we may not use that in case of non classical because it's about free flow and enjoying your dance but in case of classical we look at techniques and details that's why we are here so we have certain criteria like angashuddham aharya abhinayam and all that these are some terms that as a judge we use so you have to be expressive you have to have a very good costume attire and uh, you should be very confident the eye contact is very important and uh, you know some kids keep looking down and you know mm-hmm. they, they think you know uh, they don't have confidence or i don't know what they think but they they would look lovely if they can you know have maintain that eye contact and also expression and um, all their mudras hastas aramandi all these counts so i think this is how we separate classical to non classical and that's how we do it <laughs> so yeah i think you have wonderfully described the experience and the importance of uh, being part of a prestigious competition like this mm-hmm. so i think that would encourage lot of our viewers to come participate in this prestigious platform and uh, thank you so much for your time today and uh, i hope you keep doing the wonderful work that you have been doing as a performer as a do- uh, doctor mm-hmm. and uh, in many more areas and wish you all the best for that thank mm-hmm. you so much and i think i would definitely second you every everybody who has got an opportunity to watch us and watch even uh, sudaka talking couple other ju- judges like us talking it's very important that you take bits and pieces from uh, us uh, because this is a very good platform make use of it opportunities knock only once in your door so it is there it's right outside your door please open the door go grab it that's all i would say <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much thank you so much for that <laughs>